2011 is a year that would put King Dakota to shame because of the roller coaster it was. We had Charlie Sheen out here doing. Uh, Some are saying that of? you're bipolar. I'm by winning. Yeah, we also had Harry Potter finally concluding. And lastly, but most important, when it came to pop culture moments in 2011, you had Maddie's academic career on the downswing. Why? Skyrim was coming out. I couldn't help myself during my computer class. Every preview, every news bite, I would reread old ones, different perspectives. I threw it all away for Skyrim. But before all of that was another fantasy RPG. One that is a series that many argued overtook Bethesda Game Studios' crown. But that wasn't until 2015 when they went to war once more between Fallout 4 and The Witcher 3. Indeed, the game I'm talking about in 2011 is none other than The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. I wanted to go back to this game the week of a Night City Wire where CD Projekt Red is currently in their most weak state after the release of Cyberpunk 2077 and see just how well The Witcher 2 has aged, a game that I picked up on a Steam summer sale with my first ever gaming PC, and now it's time to see just how great Geralt looks in The Witcher 2. But first, a word from our sponsor. You ready to get corny? Good. Y'all know I'm about the health is wealth grind. Focus in on yourself, staying in good shape, staying active, I say it in my outro for a reason. But also, what health is wealth means is when you suffer a lower back injury, you gotta take the time to recover, which is what I did. Now bouncing back, I've gone through physical therapy, I'm ready to start getting in the gym, and I'm beginning the Be Your Own Hero initiative. You see, I got the Attack on Titan dry fit on, this is how I roll at the gym. I know for many of you, corny, cringe, all of the C words, but for me, it's how I get motivated. And that's why I love G Fuel, because I feel like they got my back on that initiative. Whether it be the hydration line here with Doctor Strange, I love Multiverse of Madness, and this is like free orange soda without all of the taxing health aspect. But when I talk about, you know, being your own hero, I think of my favorite characters, like Mega Man. Having a shaker here with the buster at the top, that speaks to me, that motivates me to get in the gym. But if you're not like that, and I totally respect that, they do have more, if you will, normal options like this, and also more normal powders like this that provide an energy formula. So there's tons of options over at G Fuel. I'll have a link in the description down below if you wanna help your boy out, check that out for yourself. But shout out to G Fuel for being a part of the Be Your Own Hero initiative. It has been a hot minute since I fired this game up. Like I said, since the Steam sale of, I gotta say, 2012 is when I played this game, when I got my first gaming PC. And then this game has always held a special place in my heart. It was a random purchase at about 10 bucks. I said, hey, why not? And I was blown away by The Witcher 2. When obviously The Witcher 3 came out, took over the industry, so it's only fair that I go back, take a look at The Witcher 2, and see how well it's aged with a brand new game. So, oh, you can import your save. I actually didn't know that. All right, new game. Let's do this. Witcher soundtracks go so hard. <laughs> God, so powerful. My man is vulnerable. I'm not used to seeing Garrett like this. Getting laughed at by someone. <laughs> yeah, give me my, uh, give me my Garrett in the prison. Look at his back, man. Holy smokes. Come on, sixes. Daddy needs you. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. My man Roche. Ooh. This man's got so much swagger. Yeah, that. Love that line. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roche. There's something about the color grading in The Witcher 2. Very gritty looking. It's almost got a purple hue to it. 
which I know isn't Scream the Witcher, especially when it's vibrant with its reds, yellows, and greens. But I, I just, the opening moments here are so dark and brooding. And uh, I, I love the vibe here of Roche. This is why I love Roche. She's like, <laughs> immediately offers you a handshake and your hand cuffs. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Oh no. I, I feel like this might have to be censored. For the sake of my channel, for the sake of my career. Josh, do everything in your power to block what is coming. I'm very, very scared right now. Yep. Geralt's doing a great job right now. Good work, Geralt. Excellent work. This is the maturity of the Witcher, but YouTube cannot- Oh! Okay. Alright. That's enough. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. Yeah, take your time getting out. <laughs> Yo, this guy's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Hey, she said it. Hey, she said it. Mm -hmm. The breadcrumbs, baby. The breadcrumbs. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome to the prologue of The Witcher 2. This section of the game will help you introduce you to the story and game world and familiarize yourself with the basic mechanics. We wish you an exciting journey. I always love developer messages. I know a lot of people think it breaks immersion, but I always like it. I think it's nice. This game still actually looks pretty good. Uh, Animation-wise, there's some jank, but honestly, the actual environments, the animations, at least, not the facial animations, by the way. All look pretty good. A beautiful day for battle. Wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me. Excuse See, one of the strengths of this game, I feel, is it begins in the heart of a war. They're transitioning you to all these political figures. The writing, as always, is doing a lot of the hard carrying, even if the tech isn't up to snuff. Love all these interactions you're seeing here. into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sado. Where the hell are we headed? To what the fuck do we want? One of the most <laughs> insane speeches before a battle. The fuck do we want? <laughs> Feels like it was just pulled from an entirely different game. I like how they're creating a little bit of Normandy vibes, like you're on the boat, it's rocking, you're just gonna charge right into battle here. It's so, it's so good. This is the moment that I felt won over by the game. Just the music, the charge to battle, the kind of high pitch ringing. And then combat begins. One thing that always surprised me with the Witcher 2's combat was you'll notice Geralt kind of free flows and it felt surprisingly slick for its time. You'll see as we go throughout the video. The combat does feel good in this game. Here's gonna be a good example of the of the combat. Just the way you kind of ebb and flow like that. Just the quick transition and then the roll. That was automatic, and then take him out. It naturally makes Geralt feel like a killing machine. And in some ways, and I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I think the melee combat, not the preparation and whatnot that you'd have in The Witcher 3, but the melee combat, I think in a lot of instances feels better in this game, which is very rare to say. Obviously, don't want to do a disservice to what The Witcher 3 did do. But this game just, I think, has a silky smooth vibe to it. Kill the Witcher! But your boy is not doing a good job here staying alive. That's for certain. Oh boy. Oh boy. Kill the Witcher! 
right. The right trigger is to block. I don't know if, if you all knew that. Certainly I did. And, uh, yeah, I just paid the price because I got too button mashy. So there is a level of skill required. You can't be stupid like I just was. <laughs> wow, like, that feels great, man. The way I knocked him back, creating an opening. There's Ragdoll. Good stuff, CD Projekt Red from 2011. Kill the Witcher! Did I just do a finisher? I did. Your boy just did a finisher. I didn't remember those being in the game at all. You just can't mess up. Holy smokes. Kill the Witcher! Oh, no. That's really bad. Am I using the wrong sword? I think I am. Yep, yeah, that's that's the silver sword. That's for monsters. <laughs> am I struggling right now? This is supposed to be a showcase. No! I did it. I did it. I don't, I don't know why that was so difficult for me. I feel really ashamed. I may be playing too many turn-based JRPGs, but I did it. <laughs> the camera shakes that really make this combat feel visceral. Like that with the sound effects. Just really powerful. Oh, did I take his arm off? I did. Okay. Dismemberment. That's always a plus in my book. Yes, the, uh, the Witcher 2, where you didn't have a jump button, you had a climb button for very specific areas. It's just so epic. Oh, some of these finishers are great. It's just like, it, it completely makes you think a cutscene's activating. Probably because it is technically a cutscene happening. These large-scale battles, I just love in this game, man. Tons of people swinging away at once. Oh, man. Blood coat in the walls. Hit full test with a spell. That's going to be all right. Or a witcher's soul. Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before full test? Never! You heard them, witcher. Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender, and the king will show mercy. My mother has seen enough of this king's mercy. What'll you do? Throw yourself on my sword? Run? He made mother a harlot, then denied her before all the realm. True enough. But no massacre, no misguided heroism will change that. Drop your weapons. Should anything happen to my mother, I shall find you and kill you. And here we see our choice playing out. Could have killed them. But we chose not to. Showing mercy at the hand of King Fulltest. Ha. And they said we couldn't get near the walls. The way Half this game presents itself, animation-wise, being reused Fighting across characters, and the cutscene style, themselves inside very the Dragon Age Origins energy, in the for better or for well, worse. Sire. But took now that I'm task, noticing it, finally mumbled it makes me like the game a little bit more, and I think that's kind of gross of me, but at the same time, it works in the game's benefits, so should I be ashamed? But I don't know if you all see the same thing. Again, the way they interact, like they kind of create the triangle, like the main person in the middle, Roche in the back, you have the Witcher, Geralt in the back left. Really get going on I just feel like that Jump presentation guard, style, the way the cutscenes flipping around with the different camera right. angles, again, yes, the stiff animations, just Silas, strong Bioware energy here. Ben, come with me. I won't stand by while you murder innocents. So, what'll you do? Kill you. <laughs> I was not after your blood. I have witnesses. <laughs> that was so funny. The way he just shoved them there. It was such a light, innocent shove. Mercy. See, man, like, I just... Wow. 
I know you can't explore all of it, but I can't deny 2011. This looks damn good. This was the game that was smothered by Skyrim. And I love Skyrim with all my heart, but this game deserves similar energy. I'm just saying visually ambitious. Right, look at that. Oh my gosh. So nice, man. Of course, the benefit of The Witcher 3 is you can see it and then explore it, but you get my point. For its time, so impressive visually, I felt. Oh, now I didn't know that was a thing. Wow, it really has been a while. Destructible objects, okay. Nasty little drowner, okay. We need the other sword for this, obviously a staple of the Witcher franchise here. So I just quickly get that out and go to work here, literally, because this is his job. I think did more damage to me than one of the soldiers did. Look at that, destructible environment, a free flowing, switching weapons. This game's got a rhythm of its own, man. Obviously the series does, but it, there's something again about the feel of this combat. It's not perfectly balanced, but it, it it just feels good. Like, you know, sometimes it's the, it's got the it factor. This game's got the it factor. You know, it reminds me of, you know, my favorite GameStop purchases, right? You, you go into the used game section, you're looking around, don't got much money. You're like, oh, this game, 17 bucks. Whatever, I'll give it a try. And it just hits a home run. That's the vibe here. Again, what you may be noticing here is a much more linear Witcher adventure. I know, you know, the Witcher 3 really took over the game's industry, so it, it may be easy to forget just where this series was before this. It's it's a significant leap from Assassin's Creed Kings to Wild Hunt. You gotta love full test just on the other side of the gate, rallying the troops, even though I'm the only one fighting this guy and absolutely hammering him, by the way. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. The deed is done, sir. Never understood the QTEs for this type of stuff. <laughs> you had to do a full QTE for the ballista. Now that interesting choice. Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. This is the kind Such of weird part about the prologue. The for those that don't know, you can play in very disjointed rain. ways. Like here we are well, meeting Roche, even though he was with us in the what courtyard section. Alive and hey, you just have to tackle. piece it all together yourself. It, it's the one flaw with the opening of the game beyond it being very limited. I feel is it can be disjointed if you don't play it in the right order. Where they are in the monitor. Cross quickly. Protect the king. Some professional hero. We've got to See, the difference between Witcher 2 Geralt and Witcher 3 is he's saying you don't fight the dragon, but of course we know how that goes in the Witcher 3. The solar. They're in the solar. What is this? Blasphemy. Sorcerer's tricks. Oh, I can just slap someone. I mean, after Mass Effect where you punch reporters, you got to just make physical contact with anyone who slightly objects to you. That was a stomach slap. Three man unharmed and the noble Slapped gets the belly slapped. a little bit. A win-win situation. He's really holding it. Oh, man. <laughs> the dragon's back. I come. This is one very patient dragon. He could have just set us abla ablaze. Right here, he could do it. But he, oh, he lets me Harry Potter him. All right. Oh, here it is. Here it is, Geralt running in. Can he make it in time, though? Full test. This is really bad for you, man. Oh. Here comes the blade. Didn't even know it was coming. 
And this is why our main girl- look at the blood detail- oh my god. That's visceral. Oh no. He's like coughing it out. This is gruesome, man. The kid sees it. This is just- this is horrible. Man reveals his whole identity. <laughs> just completely shows his face. Before I ruin your life, you know, I'm just gonna let everyone know what I look like. Wow, that's a ton of blood. Is uh, that <laughs> thing was like wiggling between his legs. I don't know if that was meant to happen. And here we have it. This is why our man got arrested. Got framed for the murder of a king. That's why they call it Witcher 2, Assassin of Kings. These sound effects, this whole scene have been so goddamn intense. <laughs> oh, he did an anime gasp too. <laughs> Never heard of women serving in the special forces. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. So easily brought into the mix. Boom. Just like that. Who wants to throw a fist now? Rip your guts out! Do you good, sir. Oh man, we got a little QTE here? What is this, man? Oh my god. You know, we talk a lot about Bethesda Jank, but I don't think we talk enough about CD Projekt Red Jank. <laughs> Oh, damn. Hold on now. There we go. Oh, snap, there's another one. You say on the bottom right I deal minimal damage, but I would beg to differ. I am doing a lot of damage, in fact. Who needs stealth to break out when I have my fists? Oh. Oh. Oh no. When was the last save? 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 This could be really bad for me. I was feeling very confident. Uh, are we gonna show our age here? We're not! Excellent! Good work, good work, CD Projekt Red from the past. Alright, this time, but with stealth. Okay. I can't really see him. Die, Snake! Wow! Wow! Alright, how about- how about I just not run by you at all? Okay. So this was made in the age of games trying to do things that they weren't necessarily built for. Uh, one of them happens to be a action RPG with choice and consequence at its roots. Being a stealth game might not work out to the best, <laughs> but uh, they tried. The there we go. That is brutal. And that's good revenge. I'm getting more finishing blows here with a blackjack than I was with any of my cool swords. Let's see if we can do this right now, though. Wait, let's see if I can just... I'm gonna just pull up on this you dude. Jeff, for what? I oh. said a prisoner's escaped! Guards! Oh, he didn't know him. Where the hell is everyone? Guards! Over here! Wait, 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 wait. Holy smokes. I got ratted out by a prisoner, man. That dude's a snitch. Nah, but wait, it's alright. Oh, no, it's not alright. To me! Pile on it! <laughs> what are with all these finishers? The blackjack is OP! Ah, it's the dude I spared. How about that? To think, this man wanted to battle me, and now look at the real choice and consequence playing out for him. Because if I didn't choose to spare him, this man wouldn't have even been in a prison to escape him in the first place. That's the oil store. That is amazing. This game's a 10 out of 10. It's official. It's aged perfectly. 
Bloody hell, you didn't have to torch the castle. <laughs> you would have sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. How about that? You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I also miss these types of cutscenes. It reminds me of Honors nowadays of Thronebreaker, but made Aryan fight it's interesting to see where a lot of it originated in the Facing mainline defeat, series. Told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. Especially because it reflects your choices. Prevented him from saving himself. In dire straits. It's just, again, the presentation of this game is so good. The various cutscene styles and ways of narrative approach. Like first, it's a obviously interactive prologue. Then it's a sort of storyteller. I just love the variety here, man. It makes a good narrative. Like, oh, man, this place is moody. Flotsam, man. I remember this place kind of creeping me out because the first time I ever played this game was in the middle of the night. That's when I bought it on the Steam sale. The middle of the night. Any news from I the love city? the swamps, man. Some merchants are being held up for months. I don't know. Some may prefer the open world approach, but I'm Where curious if a lot of people prefer this, like the more linear, focused, <laughs> something very special you know about it. Maybe it's just because it's the before they went fully mainstream, so it's that feeling of being in on something before it was really popular. But uh, I, I do adore this. Ah, oh, man, again, presentation, presentation, presentation. Capital P. There's an elf sitting there playing a nice loot for us. And who is this gentleman? Why does he look this way, and why do I need That's to get to know him more? Over. A regular son of a whore. I've Gives him all his accolades and he calls him a son of a whore. Gotta love it. They plan, <laughs> set traps. And now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? Oh, timer on the dialogue. I forgot about that. No any useful spells. Need to focus. I'll try. No one will grant us our freedom, which I love how the we person you're looking for, for just kind of presents themselves to you in a sense, like or, you're or just you think another they do. old elf in a young elf skin, <laughs> using clever words to mask an obvious truth. You're here because someone powerful told you. Yeah, I love how the the solution using to their problem, the start of the solution, is standing right before them. Like he plays the flute, guild. saying, "I'm right but here. Sure hello." This, <laughs> it's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. <laughs> What would we do without Triss? Literally. I'll die holding a lovely ass. <laughs> this guy is so out of pocket. Come on, let's go. Are you all right? Yes, fine. Sons of bitches. You know each other rather well. There's our killer. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. And that's it for pretty much the prologue. The game opens up from here because now we're in Flotsam, which is our little hub for now. But this is a good look at the Witcher 2 and barring some early on combat woes. I gotta say, I love the narrative presentation. It was really great to see that. It was also nice to kind of see CD Projekt Red in a place where they weren't pure perfectionists. I think through that with something like Cyberpunk and something like The Witcher 3, you lose a little element here in The Witcher 2 that I, I just think really defined them in their early days, um, especially the way they present choice and consequence too. I just got to say, I really appreciate going back to this. Um, again, it was a little janky, a little more janky than I remember, but fond memories firing this up for the first time ever when I got it on a Steam sale. So with that, what do you think of The Witcher 2? I'm looking forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Please do fire away. And with that, I'll catch you all next week with whatever game we are playing next in 2022. Peace out.